Uh, we'll, we'll start. I am Christine Deschler, and I'm chair of the Economic and Finance Committee. I'm calling the May 3rd, 2022 meeting of the committee to order. Uh, first, let me confirm attendance of members of the committee and confirm that everyone can hear me when I call your name. Please respond in the affirmative. And for those who are uh, with us via Zoom, please let uh, state that you are attending via Zoom. Um, Jordan. Uh, here. Shane. Here via Zoom. Jennifer. Sophie. Brian. Here. Carolyn. Rebecca. Here. Here. Grant. Here. Charlie. Here. John. Here on Zoom. Daryl. Uh, Annie. Here. Kyle Jones. Here. Toker. Here. Peggy. I'm here on Zoom. Um, Al Tosti. Here. Um, Dean is not here. Dave here. is here. And our executive secretary, Tara. Here. All right. Um, let me do the read the script. Um, on March 29th, 2023, Governor Healy signed into law a supplemental budget bill, which, among other things, extends the temporary provisions of the open meeting law to March 31st, 2025. Um, this further extension allows public bodies to continue holding meetings remotely without a quorum of the body physically present at a meeting location, so long as adequate alternative access to the deliberations of the meeting is provided to the public. Adequate alternative access includes providing public access through Zoom video conferencing, which we are doing tonight. Ensuring public access does not ensure public comment or public participation. This meeting will not feature public comment. Those wishing to provide comments may do so by emailing our executive secretary, Tara Bradley, at tbradley at town.arlington.ma.us. Please note that this meeting is being recorded and that some attendees are participating by video conference. Accordingly, please be aware that other folks may be able to see you and take care not to screen share your computer. Anything that you broadcast may be captured by the recording. All supporting materials that have been provided members of this body are available on the town's website unless otherwise noted. The public is encouraged to follow along using the posted agenda unless the chair knows otherwise. The chair will introduce each speaker and then will recognize members wishing to provide any comments, questions, or motions. Please hold your name. Hold until your name is called. For those attending remotely, please remember to mute your phone or computer when you are not speaking. Uh, everyone, please remember to speak clearly and in a way that helps generate accurate minutes. Um, and each vote taken in this meeting will be conducted by um, a roll call vote. Um, first order of business tonight are the minutes of May 3rd. Um, have people been able to have um, April 26th? April 26th, I'm sorry. Move here, accept the minutes. Second. All right. Anybody have any uh, comments, uh, questions? All right. Seeing none, we'll take a vote on the minutes of April 26. Um, Jordan? Uh, abstain. I wasn't here. Shane? Yes. Um, Jennifer's not here. Sophie's not here. Brian? Yes. Carolyn's not here. Rebecca? Yes. Josh? Yes. Grant? Yes. Charlie? Yes. John? Abstain. Daryl isn't here. Annie? Here. I mean, yes. <laughs> Sorry. Al Jones? Yes. Topher? Yes. Peggy? <laughs> yes. Al Tosti? Yes. Uh, Dean's not here. Dave? Yes. All right, we have one, two, three, 12 in the affirmative and zero in the negative and two extensions. All right, the minutes have been approved. Uh, all right, a recap of where we're at in town meeting for those who aren't town meeting members. Um, we have, um, we did the departmental budgets, uh, that's article 36. 37 and the capital budget um, yes. 38. Um, there, there was a little hiccup with the DEI department, um, but um, there was an effort to essentially defund that, which did. I'm sorry, DEI. The DEI department. 
Department equity, of Diversity, uh, equity, 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 equity. Diversity, equity, oh, yeah. well, um, That effort to defund that department failed. There was a successful <clears throat> motion to um, take $15,000 out of the capital budget um, that was intended for uh, Bolo wraps. Um, and that was, you know, those are the only two issues really for those. Uh, for those articles. So now we go into the special town meeting and then we will go back to finishing the select board meetings and then the select board's articles and then the um, uh, redevelopment board and then we will start and get into our finance articles. I don't know if we'll actually reach the finance articles tonight. I think there's a possibility but it's doubtful. Um, so that's where we are. Um, Annie, right? The, Dr. Dawson is coming on Monday. Dr. Right? Dawson is coming on Monday, and I have been assured we will take article. Uh, we will take the Minuteman budget before we plunge into Article Twelve. Which will take a while. Okay. So. All, right. Um, All right. So that is the update for the town meeting. Um, the other update I want to. Um, to give people is what's been happening at the Long Range Planning Committee with respect to the override. Um, and for those of you who attended the Long Range Planning Committee, jump in and try to leave anything out. Um, the school, um, the select board has yet to vote to put it on. Hi, <coughs> Carolyn. Yeah. That's fine. Mm -hmm. I'm not going to be here long. Right? Yeah, but yeah. How many Microsoft engineers does it take to put it on the yeah. light bulb or the set of chairs? Right? <laughs> Come on, yeah. Chair. Five people to move one chair. One Sorry. Okay. All right. So uh, the select board has yet to vote to put the override on the ballot. The idea, the thinking is that they will do that in June to put it on the ballot um, in late November uh, or late October and early November. What the school department is doing right now is refining their strategic plan. Um, to present to both us and the, the board, the select board. I'm not anticipating any changes in the dollar amounts that they're asking for, um, but they are, as I said, refining it. Um, and uh, what they would like to have, and what I would like to have is a meeting with the school committee and the superintendent and us when they've done that. So sometime either at the end of May or the beginning of June, preferably the end of May, uh, we'll have a meeting with them solely to talk about um, their uh, current strategic plan and their ask and the override. Um, in June, the select board will take a vote. Um, they uh, the date, and, and again, correct me if I heard wrong, by the end of the Long Range Planning Committee meeting, I think the idea was that the select board would vote maybe on June 12th to put the override on the ballot. And um, with the idea that we would then have a meeting ourselves to vote as to whether we were gonna support the override or not. And if the select board Votes on the 12th, I would like to have a FinCom meeting on the 14th. Okay. Um, if the select board votes earlier in June, then I'll we'll try to have an earlier meeting in, in June. Uh, but um, but as but as it stands right now, um, we're, I'm looking at a FinCom meeting on the 14th, and I'm hoping that everyone will be able to attend that because it's a really important discussion and a really important vote to take. Um, so I'd like as many members as possible um, there um, uh, on 14th. Um, the, uh, what is certain, uh, I think, is that the amount of the override will be $7 million and it will be a three-year override. Um, we're also looking for, looking at a, a, a special town meeting in the fall. Um, and <clears throat> if uh, 
among other things, I think there are going to be some zoning issues in the fall, but also um, there will be uh, conceivably um, uh, a vote of town meeting to adjust the FY24 budgets based on this override. Um, and town meeting might occur before the override or after the override. So we might have to pass, town meeting might have, we, we finance committee might have to present a contingent budget. Um, so, what, so the point of what I'm saying is that be prepared that we're gonna to have to do some work in the fall yeah. uh, because we're gonna to have to do a report um, to town meeting in the fall. So just keep that in mind in terms of scheduling. Um, no set dates as to the override. Uh, or town meeting, but um, I think uh, I, I think the the idea was sometime late October and early November. Um, so that is everything I know. Uh, Alan, I don't know uh, Annie. I don't know if you want to add anything. No, I mean that's the schedule, and we'll, we'll just have to, you know, hear the school committee out and make a decision. So I. Um, I'll, I'm in, I've been talking to uh, Kersey and I'll continue to talk to her about trying to schedule something um, with regard to a meeting with us and the school committee. So, um, and again, I'd like to do that earlier rather than later, but we'll see where they are. Yeah, right. Madam Chair, <clears throat> isn't there a difference between school spending and the override? In other words, we'll vote an override or not. Let's say we vote the seven million dollar override. We're not voting for school spending in that override. That's those those uh, spending decisions are made by each town meeting. So, oh, but it, if maybe a commitment in the minds of the selectmen, but it's not um, <coughs> law. If we do a contingent budget, the town meeting passes. Then that no, yeah. I, that's true for, for the first year. But right. I'm just saying in general, yeah. the seven million dollars. Is what we're voting for an override. Uh -huh. If there's no yeah. school or if those ads aren't voted, it's not a three year override, it's almost a five year override. Yeah. But the commitment to the voters would be X amount for X, X, Y, and Z. But the just, just like that, we have yeah, been doing for the last. Make that commitment, but I'm saying that this is a town meeting decision at each town meeting. Yeah. It's not a, and it's a finance committee decision at each finance committee session. Mm -hmm. It's not. Uh, it's not a law. It's a political statement by the select board. So isn't that true of every commitment we make about an override? No, you no. can write it in. You can no, write, no, no, you, you can't, can't write it can't in. You can't even write the number in. Yep. You can have a no. You write the purpose. number in. Right. For an that's override. the only right. thing. That's the only thing we can. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. We can't say anything about how it's going to be spent or how yeah. it's going to be or anything else. But it's not. All I'm saying is it's a political statement by the select board. It's mm -hmm. not. Yep, yep, yep. Everything that we say about the override, other than the number printed on the ballot, is a political statement. Right. Yeah, yeah. That's how we've done it. We haven't, we have never failed to live up to those political statements that I know of. Andy, I'm not arguing that. I'm just saying mm -hmm. it's the, mm -hmm. the amount, the spending, the, the commitment to do an override, mm -hmm. and the amount that's spent are made in different decisions. Yep, yep. Anything else? All right, then moving on to something more fun. Alan? Will we be able to do the reserve fund transfers on the 14th also? That's what I would like to do, yeah. And and also do officer elections to get do all our business and then be done for mm -hmm. done. fall. Yeah. Um, so, um, the end of year party. Um, oh, fun. <laughs> so first, uh, or maybe uh, so for, for, new, for new members, what we yeah. historically do is when we're finished with our business in June, we get together and have dinner and drinks and just relax and, mm -hmm. and spend some time before we all break for the summer. And it's always been a very fun event. Um, so I am looking for volunteers who want to work on that. Um, 
And Tara has in the past helped a lot. Um, can I count on you? Yes, to do <laughs> so. Um, so if I can get, I I like organizing parties. Great. All right. Anybody <laughs> yeah. else who wants to help out? I might join you. But okay. I too. All right. So Carolyn, I heard well, you're. No, I might. I might. I don't know what I'm going to be doing in June. Did you, did, you, did you get shares? <laughs> you got a dozen shares. Yeah. So. All right. So the, oh, the no question is the date. Um, so if, if we um, if we do it, and maybe I'll maybe we can present it. And Jennifer and Tara can figure Come out what the options date. are <laughs> yep. in terms of dates. But I was if we meet if we do our final business on. Um, the 14th, mm -hmm. then the next um, Monday, the 19th is a holiday, Juneteenth. So I don't mm -hmm. want to meet then. Mm -hmm. So that would be the 21st, and that's your wedding anniversary. I'm sorry. Isn't the 21st your wedding anniversary? Yeah, yeah I don't do it that But right. I can get special dispensation. <laughs> 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 yeah, wedding anniversary. And if you invite her. Yeah. 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 Sounds like a long That's how we did that once. So. Sounds like the <laughs> So the other alternative is maybe doing it on a Thursday or Thursday. Yeah. Um, yeah. Are people amenable to a possible Thursday day? Sure. Yeah. Sure. Yeah. yeah, all those dates are fine. So. All right. So why don't we look at, ideally, I think maybe the 15th just to do it earlier and yep. Alan will have a problem okay. with his wife. Um, then, um, <laughs> then we do it on the 21st. Alan isn't the only one who'd be in trouble with Barbara if we do that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right, right, right. Sure that nice. Right. Um, where is it done? So you, well, you, Very good you question. You you guys guys okay, so it's a restaurant? We've done it at restaurants. Mm -hmm. we've, we've, um, we can, the three of us and Carolyn yeah. can talk um, mm -hmm. more. Um, but uh, we, we have some money we can, we can use and... Um, <laughs> So, so um, the, the, the three or four of us can talk about okay. uh, possibilities. And, okay. Right. And, um, and uh, yeah, and uh, see what will work, which mm -hmm. date at which place that makes more sense. Okay. You take whatever the balance of the reserve fund is and get to use it. Nice. <laughs> 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 Where'd we go? Let's do this party. Puerto Rico. I recommend that I move that we, or I will make a motion. That we consider uh, everybody chipping in twenty bucks or thirty. Mm -hmm. Second. That, yeah, that's a good. Uh, yeah. that idea. I, I don't think we'll have a problem. Okay, I think we bring the control. We have it. Bring her in here. I don't have anything more to discuss. Um, um, we, let's plan on meeting so on next Monday. Um, all of us here. So um, just in case anything comes up, and you know, I can.